What's up YouTubers, it's Road Dog Does Politics here back with another video and today you'll notice that I'm wearing glasses for the first time so that's a change um, so today I wanted to address a guy or a man that usually has me quite triggered and yes I am talking about Donald Trump as um, many people will know yesterday was um, September the 11th um, a very recognisable Memorial Day for obviously the 9-11 terrorist attacks whereby two planes flew into the World Trade Center killing around 3,000 people a day that shook the world and many families for many years to come but obviously there's one guy who just doesn't show any empathy whatsoever no awareness of anyone else's feelings no you know no awareness for the sheer magnitude of what happened and like the ramifications for people's lives people's families um you know every, everything he just just nothing there's just nothing he doesn't care doesn't know like uh, he's a sociopath basically so um here's a few of his tweets from yesterday um again just no empathy no thoughts really going into you know how people are feeling um, or you know the lives that were lost and the sacrifices that were made nothing really at all to that effect so I'll just um, read out some tweets here we are so one of them includes um, a fairly basic 17 years since September the 11th no hand clap for you Mr Trump for working out that yes it was 17 years to the day I think pretty much everyone can figure that out but again no added you know oh support to the families that were affected and you know America like Memorial Day like we'll never forget I mean he does he does use the hashtag never forget so credit where it's due but you know um, another tweet quite you know self-centered Rudy Giuliani did a great job as mayor of NYC during the period of September the 11th his leadership bravery and skill must never be forgotten Rudy is a true warrior all caps so no reference to the the emergency services who you know risked their lives and lost their lives in order to help people in the, escape from the building no reference to them no reference to family members who lost who lost loved ones to the people that died in the buildings that died of smoke inhalation that got crushed when the building collapsed no reference to them whatsoever no reference to you know um you know any sort of feelings of empathy like it's just all about him and his bestie cronies it's just disgusting vile language that is just so lacking in empathy as i said compassion recognition of anybody else like for god's sake moving on um another another tweet where he he quotes another retweet of himself signing a proclamation that he's making today patriots day um because of because of 9 11 i mean again it, it's all about him it's all it's all about him it's nobody else he's, he's so selfish god i mean if, if you support this guy and you read these tweets and you think yeah he's the guy for me like what like take a look at yourself because sh show some respect have a level have a level of like decency where you actually can connect with other people and think maybe he should be a bit more sensitive but no he shows none of that and he still gets the support he still gets away with this shit it's unacceptable if Obama had said shit like this he'd have had nowhere to run I, I swear to you and yet we let him get away with this Republicans let him get away with this it is disgraceful moving on um, actually no I will tell you um, another thing if you didn't know already what he did actually on the day of 9-11 he rang into a radio show and bragged about the fact that his building was now the tallest in New York because as a result of the Twin t Towers collapsing his was the tallest building before it was the second tallest but now it's the tallest oh, fuck off Donald Trump like there's just 
What the fuck? People have died. People have literally died. They're still dying now. Like, on the day. That people are in fucking states of trauma. What the hell is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? You're a disgusting, disgusting excuse for a human being. Disgusting, vile creature. And again, today, if you didn't see the pictures, he was going to Pennsylvania as a memorial for the United 93 aeroplane that, you know, the, the people inside the plane, obviously all of them lost their lives, but, you know, in their attempt to stop the terrorists from reaching their target, they never actually got to their destination and all of them sadly died. And, you know, there's a, there's a photo of him just fist pumping. Like, I don't know, like, the crowd, people must have been cheering him for some reason, but he's like, yeah, this is the, this is about me. They're cheering for me. Mm. Oh my god. Get this man out of office. I swear. Like I know I'm getting triggered, and I know I did a video about not mad slanging the other day. But seriously, this guy is mentally unstable. Like he has no sense of anybody else's feelings. No form of sensitivity, no compassion, no empathy. He's a sociopath on a massive level. Like, he just doesn't care. He just doesn't care. And the Republicans let him get away with it. It's it's foul. It's foul. And finally, to a more recent tweet, um, talking about the approaching Hurricane Florence, um, in, ref in reference to the last hurricane, um, which is five hours ago, we got A pluses for our recent hurricane work in Texas and Florida, and did an unappreciated great job in Puerto Rico, even though we're in an inaccessible island with very poor electricity and a totally incompetent mayor. We are ready for the big one that is coming. Okay, let's break that one down. The only reason why, um, uh, Puerto Rico is still struggling is because you have not been giving them relevant and enough support like that that you've basically given them next to nothing and you brag about throwing paper towels at them fuck's sake what is wrong with you what is wrong with you like you, you show off so much like you're a big man and like oh yeah oh you've thrown our budget a little out of work Puerto Rico just you just, I have absolutely Ugh, I can't even. Who the hell says that? If that had been any other Democrat, like, he'd have had, he'd be running for the hills. If Obama had said something like that or tweeted something like that, he'd have nowhere to run. He'd be receiving smears day after day after day. But because it's Trump, we let him off. Oh, this is disgusting. This is disgusting. The mayor... A female mayor has been doing all she can for the people of her, of her of Puerto Rico and San Juan, but she she's been doing the most with what she has, and what she has is barely anything at all, because you know orange guy in the White House just doesn't care because they're all Hispanic brown people who don't deserve proper care or treatment or you know infrastructure. Even though Puerto Rico is an American territory, they don't deserve anything. God, it's fucking vile. <sighs> anyway, that's all I had to say about that. I, I don't really want to give it much more airtime. So yeah, uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe to my channel as always. Catch you in another video. See ya.